Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Bella Luna. I am part of a trio of witches known as the Bitchy Witchies. We do a podcast and we do this YouTube channel. If you are new to our channel, please give us a like and subscribe so that you can get notifications and catch up on all of our latest and greatest videos. So for this video, I want to share with you my recipe for black cat oil. So it was believed that originally black cat oil was made using the bones of a cat. Now obviously that's not how most make it today, although if you happen to be able to source cat bones that's been obtained from a cat that's died of natural causes, that's certainly an option. But please don't hurt a kitty just to get their bones. Today, black cat oil is usually made with hair from a black cat that's naturally shed. Other parts to consider are whiskers that have naturally shed or using claw clippings. But again, the most important thing is obtaining these things without doing harm to the cat. Black cat oil is really great to keep on hand as it has the potential for really multiple uses. It can be used in workings of luck, of unhexing, or of hexing, and also to return hexes. It can help to enhance psychic abilities. You can use it in workings for protective measures, and you can use it also as a power booster. So the items that you'll need for these are your usual, you're gonna want a glass bottle and a mortar and pestle. The ingredients that you'll wanna grab are, of course, black cat hair, but again, also don't forget, you can consider claw clippings or naturally shedded whiskers. You'll also want dried or ground sage. I prefer the dried sage Sage, but if all you have is ground, that's fine too. You'll want bay leaves that you'll be crumbling up. And then you'll want resin for myrrh, frankincense resin, and dragon's blood resin. You'll also want to have on hand patchouli herb. Now, not the patchouli oil, although if, again, that's all you have, that's fine too, but I personally prefer the herb. To make the signature color black, you'll want to have either a charcoal disc or black dye. Now, when it comes to carrier oils, this is an ideal spell oil where you can be really purposeful with your choice of carrier oil based on its magical properties. So for example, you could use hemp oil if you are going to be making the spell oil for workings mostly around developing or enhancing psychic abilities. If you're going to be using the black cat oil predominantly for workings of luck, then you may consider using soybean oil. If you're looking to use this oil for predominantly hex working, and curses, then you would consider possibly castor oil. If you're looking for more of a multi-purpose oil, then you can stick with the standard olive or grapeseed oil. So if you are using a charcoal disc, then the first thing you're going to want to do is crush the disc first. And you want to crush it until it's a fine powder. You'll take all of your dry ingredients, including the charcoal disc powder, if that's what you're using, and put them all in your bottle. Next, you'll add your carrier oil. And again, don't forget to leave enough room for shaking. When your oil is mixed, you'll want to charge it on your altar for about one to two weeks at least a week, but preferably two weeks. And don't forget to shake it at least once daily. Now, small word of advice, think about using a dropper to avoid getting the oil on your skin or clothes, especially if you're going to be using the black dye, as of course this may stain. Now using this oil is basically the typical ways that you would use any spell oil. You could use it to anoint various objects, to anoint poppets, or to dress your candles. I hope you enjoy this short video on how to make black cat oil. I would love to hear how you make your black cat oil or if you're going to add anything different or how you use your black cat oil. So please leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we really appreciate you guys so much and we will see you on the next video.